winter's morning, but I can uh, definitely feel the coolness. Feeling fresh for Monday? Fresh. Feeling fresh. 6 a.m. Getting it done. Set up the other uh, phone, and because one thing I ran into the other day is with the Insta, if you save the video from or you download the video from Dropbox to your phone, you can only access the last 24 hours of content that's been loaded to your camera roll for Instagram. So you actually have to re-download it again, which is a pain in the ass. But because we're going to be doing it daily, we're not going to have to re-download it again. That's the formula. Blur that out, no, you can't see that. But uh, that's gonna be, we'll test that con that strategy there. If we do a Monday and Thursday, um, with this and another content piece video as well, you know, so it's not just the, the daily vlogs, it's, there's an impactful content piece as well. There's a fair few questions that the community's asked that, um, we could look to create there. And I think before we do that is establishing, you know, what type of show it is. You know, I was thinking, you know, we could have something like on the couch with Brett where I'm on the couch answering questions, but then that actually limits the show to being on the couch with Brett. So if I'm somewhere else, you know, I'll have to bring a couch with me. Um, so that's probably not the best idea. And then at three o'clock, I want to do a thousand push-ups just because I can. Um, working on those gains. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Are we doing bloopers? Are we going to do a blooper reel? Uh, yeah. Oh, thanks. I'll take the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me one take Campbell for nothing. Answer. You now need to take the video that we've got on YouTube and we need to put it onto the blog, publish it. We will need to have that button. The button's not imperative that it's there right at the second. Actually, no, it is because I'm going to send an email out to people to that blog when you've done it. Yeah, because we don't, we can't put Brett Campbell on here because it's already a website. Yeah. We can build a subdomain and import a subdomain through here, but that's the lot. Like that's, if we can get away with that um, redirect process, which we'll soon find out. AON daily, AON daily. All right, so we just got a uh, important call about to go down. Um, we're in the process of building um, a mobile application, which is going to be huge. And when I say huge, you know, um, uh, our targets a million users. Um, so it's a pretty complex project. There's a lot of variables to it. So we're going to do the final conversation right now, which will then lead us into getting started on the project. So pretty excited. It's been, been a long time in the making. Mate, it's uh, fantastic to, uh, to, to jump back on here and, and discuss, I guess, what are our you know, next steps moving forward with this project. Um, I can see you're super excited about it, which makes me even more excited about it as well. Um, so what you've sent through so far is, is awesome. Um, exactly what I want to see. Uh, so I guess the purpose of today's chat is just to figure out, you know, dotting those I's, crossing those T's, what does it all look like? Um, so we can uh, turn this bad boy into real life. <music> Good, got something exciting happening. It's one of those projects that's been on the list forever that we've need, needed to get done, but we just haven't had the resources or um, haven't made the time to do it. But now it's uh, it's all starting to, to unravel. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. I think a real, a real or a good coach, the value in having a good coach is not being that person who's there every second of the way providing answers for your clients all the time. It's, it's about helping and instilling within them, you know, the, what we call Socratic coaching. It's the being able to coach yourself, um, which is sort of redundant because you're almost training your clients to not need you, which I think is the most empowering thing. Um, you know, when a client says, you know what, I don't believe I need, you know, this particular level of service anymore. You know, that means they've obviously gone above and beyond and, and learned the strategies themselves. Um, but you can't be reactive. 
you know, I see people who are reactive all the time. And the reason why my phone's on silent, like my phone's literally on silent every single minute of the day, is because I don't want to be reactive to the mobile phone. You know, I mean, I've got dozens of, of clients in our inner circle that, you know, if they were to send me a message and I had the alerts on, my phone would just be going bloop, 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 bloop all day. And that, that's not going to help us um, build the business and it's actually not going to help me serve them on the highest level that I can. Like I had to turn the notifications off Voxer because I didn't want to see notifications because it would distract me and I'd go straight in because I want to serve. You know, so there's that part of me that wants to serve as fast as I possibly can. But then there's also that other part that's like, well, you know, um, you need to make sure you're doing everything else as well. Make sure the building doesn't crumble down. <laughs> so again, it's, it's setting those priorities and that's, that's why, you know, especially with our um, getting back to clients and so forth, you know, we have a couple of set times a day where I'll check messages, get back to them so they can keep moving forward. It's interesting in my book, I talk about the, one of the principles, you know, having your, your phone on silent. Um, how you can become a more productive person, you know, just by having your phone on silent, turn all your notifications off, your apps, then you've got no distractions. You know, like, let, let me just do a quick test right now. Let me see on my phone, I've got three missed phone calls. I've got an SMS. If I go into my Voxer, I've got three Voxer messages. I'm going to my Facebook Messenger. Do I have any? one, two Facebook messages, messages right now? And I won't even go into emails, but you can see if I had notifications on all of them, it's going to, whether I like it or not, cause a distraction to me. Because if you see a number on an app and you're like, oh, who was that? Right, it just causes the distraction. So eliminate distractions and you'll eliminate distractions. Yes. It's true though. Cool, so let me get back to some boxes. I won't believe it, I just got my visa back. I've been approved for the United Kingdom. <laughs> so amazing. I just don't know the best way to launch this or to go Facebook Live tonight or I'm going to have the funnels ready. We're going to get all the funnels ready. Um, oh, we're going to have the biggest events in the United Kingdom. More energy than a can of mother, this, this guy. Love it. So he's just been accepted. He's, um, Luke's been working with me for about be five months now. And uh, he went from having three people in a room uh, running his NLP courses and certifications to just recently having 50 people in a room, all paying $3,000 a ticket. So a you know, major increase in his business. Um, he also went on to sell over $100,000 in a day, which is pretty exciting. And as you heard there by the message, um, you know, this is someone who, when I first met him, I asked him for his contact list, show me his contact list, and he, he went into a room, come back with a piece of paper, and just had names written on it, which, you know, totally blew my mind, but this this is a guy who's, you know, he's, he's driven by something that uh, I can't even explain, to be honest. Like the passion of, yeah, and this is the interesting thing about sometimes when you are wanting to build something, you don't have to know how to do every single modality, you know him, I and he doesn't even, he, he didn't even know what a squeeze page was before we started working together, and now he's like talking, and I need to get funnels up, I need to do this, and um, he still doesn't know how to do it, but just by having that extra level of passion and drive enables him to be able to get so much more done than the normal person, it's crazy. 1,200 in sales this week, Brett. 1,200 in sales, so this is someone who, who was a personal trainer, um, and they've wanted to move their business online and this is like the first week of releasing their program. Um, and he's just sold $1,200 worth of his online program. So he wasn't as excited as, as Luke you could hear, but he's definitely excited internally. I know that for a fact. It's hearing that, like those two messages there is, is the reason why I do what I do. You know, I love it. I love helping people. You know, I think I said in episode one, you know, how I achieve my goals faster is I help others achieve theirs. So. Also something that we need to do this afternoon on the, on the list is finalize our next round of our events. So we're gonna be running the um, online mastery event in all around Australia. So we're gonna lock that in, get that sorted. Cool. When it comes to writing adverts and when it comes to creating content like this, because um, I'm presuming like when you sat down to write this, you just wrote what was on the top of your dome and you just went with it. That's what 99.9% you know, .9 of people do. 
But what I always look at doing is go, okay, read what you've just written and go, is there a far more compelling way to be able to say that that's going to elicit the response you want. That image is, is to, there's more than 20% text. You can't have more than 20% text on your images. Um, what Facebook do now is they don't disallow or disapprove the image. If it is over 20 though, they say that it can reduce your reach. You don't want to break, break the 20% rule on that. Here's the reality when it comes to any images on Facebook is just test. You don't know that could be the best one. You know, you, you, you're gonna do a basic test of three different, like, yeah, you know, I would use a different ad and test a different ad. It's alive. So uh, that right there is episode number one. It is live, so there's no more talking, there's no more thinking about doing it, it's out there and it's out to the world. We've already had 1500 views, which is cool, or 1.4K, but let's round it up. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is cool, this is, a, this is the start of something um, great. We've been in the trenches today, doing a lot of just mapping out the entire process, what it looks like. I think there's about 20 steps in which what we need to do from you know, taking the video and then what happens with it. Um, so if you're not, um, again, subscribed or you're following me on Snapchat or Instagrams or even Facebook Stories, Facebook Messenger, um, it would be worth your while just doing that even at the very least from a learning perspective of how we're gonna execute this content. You know, how do we take one piece of valuable content that technically this one, I believe, this is 14, 15 minutes long. How do we take that and how do we chop it down or, or you know, how do we strategically place um, the smaller versions throughout all different social channels so um, we'll no doubt be sharing that with you as well the process behind that as it unfolds the lessons we learn um, the things that work really well the things that don't work because as always why would you not want the shortcut you yeah, we've been on lockdown today i mean I, none of us have left the office since the early morning um, so we had our gym session we got in here and we've been stuck straight into it it's already almost five o'clock already and um, yeah, if I'm being honest, we're probably, I feel like we're a little bit behind the eight ball as well with, with our next episodes that we've got, but look, I mean, we're gonna definitely pull it together. Um, and that's the exciting thing as well about putting yourself under a bit of a time pressure to get things done. You know, you're just gonna have to make it, um, get it done. Um, so today we've been mapping out the entire strategy um, from who does what, when does it get done, etc. cetera. Uh, because, you know, as you could imagine, I can't be there posting, doing this, doing that, putting it over here, putting it over there. Uh, there's too many you know, fingers in the pie um, for me to be able to, to, to do all of those um, tasks. So the key there is, is just getting clear on what do we now do with this content? You know, it's, it's an investment in time, effort, um, energy and money, of course, to be able to make sure that we're doing this. Um, so we want to make sure that we're capitalizing on it the best we can. So yeah, that's that's the day. You know, the, the interesting thing about this is it's not always glamorous. You know, it's not always out running around town doing certain things. It's, um, you know, a lot of the time you just got to put your head down, bum up and get the work done. So it's been a lot of that today. Um, in saying that though, I've been able to serve a lot of my clients and um, had some important meetings. So it's all moving forward. Mm -hmm.